Hello everyone, please press subscribe, press follow, press the bell so you don't miss any new clips. The Divine Nine Dragon Cauldron. Author by Heavenly Overlord. Translator by NYOI Bo Studio. Audio novels by novelist. The Divine Nine Dragon Cauldron. Chapter 91. The Battle at the Peak. Lu Guang's gaze was cold. He flew over to face Su Yu. A cold aura lingered in Lu Guang's eyes. His fist was clenched, holding a faint flickering light. You can rest in peace knowing you died by my hands. Lu Guang's murderous fury was evident. Whoosh. Lu Guang attacked, the light in his hands flashing in a dangerous arc. Whoosh. Just as the attack started, the two holy kings shot out from the hall, landing in front of them. The fight between the two disciples was immediately suppressed. Since you two want to fight each other, we will start the fight of the century now, Zhu Rong sighed. Li Guang nodded his head in approval, his eyes expectant, we have waited for a century. Now, the fight of the century is finally starting. Following their lead, everyone descended into the forbidden grounds of the Fenguang Valley. The forbidden grounds were equally unfamiliar to those who lived in the Fenguang Valley as they were to those from the sanctuary. Fog encircled the forbidden grounds, making the landscape difficult to decipher. Li Guang and Zhu Rong stood side by side in the fog, their feelings complicated. The two looked at each other, then used their holy powers. Open. Their incredible holy power materialized in the form of a giant sword, slicing down and splitting the fog to reveal a pathway. A faint pathway appeared, leading into a barren wasteland. Enter quickly, all of you. Li Guang grunted in a deep voice. The five holy disciples from the sanctuary as well as the ten disciples from Fenguang entered together. Combine. The two stopped using their holy powers, their faces pale. Such a simple looking move had greatly exhausted the holy kings. The fog was illogically difficult to split. As per the agreement, we cannot enter. We can only wait here for the results, Li Guang softly said. A holy king's presence could affect the performance of the competitors. For the sake of fairness, the two of them could not observe the fight. Zhu Rong jumped onto a giant rock and sat down cross-legged. The top five spots belong to my Fenguang pavilion. Until the final result, it is too early to say, Li Guang gently shook his head, looking confident. In his heart, Li Guang sighed, Zhao Guang, do not let me down. As a group, the disciples entered the holy grounds. Everyone was promptly dumbfounded, what they saw was not an arena, but a barren wasteland. An ancient palace had collapsed, becoming a pile of rubble, the bricks and tiles were heavily aged. It was an old graveyard of broken dreams. Everything within a 10-mile radius was destroyed. It was as if the wasteland was once a prosperous nation, but had collapsed overnight. This place was their battlefield. They were to begin the fight of the century on a wasteland, 10,000 years worth of stories rested under their feet. This battle would decide if they were ants or dragons. In the center of the wasteland, a black puppet stood frozen. Creek. The sound of grinding gears came from inside the puppet. I am the judge for the fight of the century. All of you will follow my orders, the black puppet had a mechanical voice. An intimidating aura enveloped the area. Everyone was shocked, but they followed his instructions and gathered at the heart of the wasteland. Killing is forbidden during the fight. Break this rule and you shall die, the puppet calmly said, you shall fight in the arena. The loser will be eliminated from the competition and sent out of the forbidden grounds. Everybody there had sparred before, these rules were more or less the same. The black puppet swept its gaze across the group before focusing on the person ranked 5th in the Fenguang Valley, an impassive lady. She was level 9 upper tier, but her abilities were stronger than the other 5 level 9 upper tier disciples from Fenguang Valley. You shall go first. The first segment will be the battle for the top 5. You can challenge any other candidate here. The loser will be eliminated until there are 5 people left. The impassive lady nodded her head, sweeping her gaze across the five disciples from the sanctuary. Her lips formed a mean smile, you dare enter the fight of the century based on your abilities. I alone can eliminate all of you. Lu Guang stood, his gaze sweeping past Su Yu, leave Su Yu for last. 
Yes, Su Yu Lu Guang. The impassive lady was respectful. She gazed at Su Yu, a look of pity creeping onto her face. I shall leave you for last, as Senior Lu Guang requests. You must remember to thank him. Whoosh. The impassive lady flew over to the center of the wasteland. Remember my name, Chen Ling, the disciple of the Fengguang Valley who will eliminate all of you from the sanctuary, she mocked. So brazen. Chen Liang laughed. Chen Ling focused on the fourth-ranked holy disciple from the sanctuary, Wang An. In terms of ranking, he was above Lu Kun. He had a large muscular body like a wild beast. Thud. Wang An took a step forward, his muscular frame shook the earth. Spa. Begin. The black puppet was expressionless. Wang An struck out immediately. Tiger steps and dragon flight. The bones in Wang An's body popped and crackled. His powerful energy brought his veins to the surface of his skin. From afar, Wang An looked like he was made of blood. He stalked like a tiger, but had the speed of a dragon. Every step he took shook the hearts of onlookers. Whoosh. Chen Ling smiled coolly, putting her fingers together. Cloud breaking sword. Rumble. Her fingers had the strength of ten invincible warriors. It felt as though the sky had fallen from her power, terrifying everyone. The ferocity and forcefulness of her sword were oppressive to all who faced it. Rumble. Ah. Wang An, despite having a strong body, had a bloody hole through his shoulder blades. He flew back with a pathetic howl, defeated with heavy injuries. Pat. Wang An's body was encircled by a foggy light which escorted him out of the forbidden grounds. Outside the forbidden grounds, the Holy King opened his eyes, his expression surprised. A holy disciple had already been eliminated. Zhao Guang, I'm counting on you. The Holy King was nervous. Deep within the forbidden grounds, the context continued. Chen Ling had a mocking smile as she pointed at the crowd. You, whoever is ranked third, come forward. Wang Jing's slender figure flew forward. Compared to Wang An, Wang Jing was a bit stronger. But both Zhao Guang and Chen Liang wore grave looks. Chen Ling had defeated her opponent in one stroke. Could Wang Jing stand up to that? Calmly, Wang Jing formed a claw with her fingers. She was using a claw technique. Eagle's claw of the heavenly cocoon. Whoosh. Five thunderous sounds stacked against each other, presenting a sharp screech. It was as if an eagle constantly in battle with the heavens had swooped down, tearing apart the earth. The attack had speed and power. A some level technique achieved at the top class. It's great. Chen Ling laughed. Cloud breaking sword. Rumble. Clash. Her finger swords clashed with the claws, setting off a sound wave. Thud. Wang Jing took ten steps back, her mouth filled with blood. She was shocked. Only Mao did Wang Jing truly understand the power of the technique, deity level technique lower class. Only Zhao Guang had a deity level technique in the sanctuary. But in Fengguang Valley, even the ranked fifth person could do it. Fengguang Valley was too powerful. I said I alone can eliminate all of you. Chen Ling laughed meanly. Clash. They fought for another 20 strokes before Wang Jing was defeated. A foggy light escorted her outside. Chen Ling had defeated two people in a row and was on a roll. Number 2. Come forward. She said mockingly. Zhao Guang and Chen Liang were deeply humiliated. A ranked fifth disciple had the ability to eliminate all the holy disciples. This was too much. Su Yu stood there quietly, his silver hair flowing. Why not challenge me first? He asked calmly. Sweep. Chen Liang looked down on Su Yu, stepping forward, with me around, do you even need to battle? HMPH, enjoy the sympathy of your enemy and survive as long as you can. Chen Liang shot a cold gaze toward Chen Ling, your arrogance ends here. It's now my turn to exterminate Fengguang Valley. Mountain River Whip. Chen Liang suddenly withdrew a black leather whip, obviously adept in whip techniques. Rumble. The whip snapped in the air, the atmosphere crackling. There was a gap between the actual snapping motion and the sound, it was incredible. Cloud breaking sword. Chen Ling's expression was grave. Rumble. Crash. Ah. Chen Ling let out a pathetic howl, taking a few steps back, her fingers covered with blood. 
The whip had broken her shield of vital energy and had nearly destroyed her fingers. You can't even withstand a blow. Such a simpleton dares to act so bravely. Chen Liang's belittled Chen Ling. Chen Ling was humiliated and angry. She had indeed been too overconfident and had belittled the sanctuary. But, Chen Ling still had her trump card. Broken Sword of the Sky. Chen Ling whipped out a sword from her waist. Shimmer. The sword emitted an opulent light. It was like a snake, swaying unsteadily. You overestimate yourself. Chen Liang laughed, striking out with his whip. But the silver soft sword was like a flexible snake, tangling the whip. Wheeze. The sword slid along the whip. Ah. Chen Liang's wrist felt as if it had been bitten by a poisonous snake, cold and immensely painful. He subconsciously let go of his whip and allowed the sword to strike his shoulder blade. Rip. Chen Liang's shoulder blade developed a long bloody gash, blood spraying everywhere. He flew away in defeat. Outside the forbidden grounds, Li Guang stood up abruptly, visibly surprised, three defeats in a row. Everybody ranked fourth to second was defeated by a single person. In the forbidden grounds, Chen Ling was breathing heavily, visibly exhausted. Chen Liang had been harder to deal with than imagined. What about the even more powerful Zhao Guang? While Chen Ling was gathering her courage in preparation for challenging Zhao Guang, Lu Guang calmly sighed, You are not his match. Challenge Su Yu. Remember to teach him a harsh lesson. Chen Ling laughed, Yes. Senior. A mocking glare was aimed at Su Yu. You're reaching beyond your grasp. Qianna is senior Lu Guang's woman, you don't belong. I'll help fix that perspective of yours. Chen Ling taunted him. Su Yu, come forward. Su Yu was calm as he peacefully stepped forward to the center of the wasteland. Open your eyes. Chen Ling growled deeply. Su Yu shook his head. You are not worth me opening my eyes, he calmly replied. Gimmicks. I shall use my sword to slice open your eyes and let you see the cruel world. Chen Ling struck out mercilessly. Cloud breaking sword. The sword in her hands emanated radiance. Chen Liang had been defeated by this sword. But Su Yu stood still with his hands behind his back, refusing to make a move until the sword had nearly struck his face. Crack. A crisp sound spread through the air. A crystalline wall had appeared out of nowhere. The sword could not pierce it. Chen Ling's face tensed up. What is that? As long as your heart wills it, everything is ice. Su Yu calmly said, his eyes closed. His silver hair was flowing. Rumble. His silver hair danced wildly, transforming into countless ice needles. Ah. Thud. The frozen silver hairs were strong and cold. They rained on Chen Ling's body. The frozen hairs sliced her robes, lacerating her multiple times, the sheer force pushed her backward. She vomited blood in defeat. Under the escort of the foggy light, Chen Ling was sent outside. The master of the Fenguang Valley slowly opened her eyes, serene. Chen Liang saw Chen Ling's heavy injuries and laughed, let's see if you still dare to be so brazen Mao. Do you know Su Zhao's power? Chen Liang thought of Su Yu, his heart full of envy, Su Yu was lucky, gaining the sympathy of the man who stole his woman. Who even is he? Chen Ling's expression was bitter. She walked over to the master of Fenguang Valley. Master, I am useless. I lost to Su Yu, she reported. Him. In how many strokes? The master of Fenguang Valley was a little surprised as she asked. One move. Chen Ling turned red. To be accurate, Su Yu had not even used a move. She had been defeated by Su Yu's flowing hair. The master of the Fenguang Valley was surprised. He had defeated Chen Ling with one stroke. Chen Liang could not believe it. How? How could it be him? In one stroke. Chen Liang's face changed color. Chen Liang lowered his head in shame among the snickers of Wang Jing and Wang Yun. The forbidden grounds were silent. Had Su Yu defeated Chen Ling without moving? The disciples of Fenguang Valley were utterly shocked. Su Yu, who was looked down upon by everyone, was this powerful. Su Yu wins. Now it's your turn to issue a challenge. The black puppet announced. Su Yu stood silently, his silver hair flowing. With his eyes closed, he considered who was left. The sanctuary still had him and Zhao Guang. 
Fenguang Valley, without Chen Ling, still had nine people left. Fenguang Valley still has too many people, Su Yu sighed, Xian Er is waiting for me. I'm sorry, but I have to get rid of you all quickly. Everyone from Fenguang Valley was furious, how arrogant. You want to challenge two of us simultaneously. Two people, no. Su Yu shook his head. Then don't spout nonsense. Even we do not dare challenge two people at once. The disciples from Fenguang Valley belittled him. But one sentence from Su Yu caused the entire place to fall into silence. You are wrong. I am not challenging two people at once. Instead, I want to challenge six of you at once. This way, the battle for the top five will end instantly. Su Yu's calm words shocked the entire arena. Eleven members of the arena would be left with five with the defeat of six people. The first segment of the contest would be over like that. Everyone except the top three Fenguang Valley disciples, step forward. Su Yu stood with his hands behind his back. His silver hair and purple robe made him look like an ancient ruler. One person against six people. The Divine Nine Dragon Cauldron. Chapter 92. Purple Robed Divine King. Su Yu, do not attempt to humiliate us. The disciples of the Fenguang Valley were furious. One person against six people. Wasn't that going too far? They were dragons among men. Their achievements were at least level 9 peak, approaching the limits of the martial paths. And they were all being challenged by a single person. This humiliation made them furious. Referee, we refuse the challenge. Being so proud, they could not bear such a humiliation. You have no right to refuse the challenge. You can either choose to take up the challenge or exit the forbidden grounds. The puppet referee replied mechanically. The six of them were furious. They clenched their teeth, staring at Su Yu angrily before stepping to the center of the wasteland. Ignorant fool, if you wish to anger us, let me tell you, you have succeeded. We will get payback for this humiliation through your blood and tears. Who could confidently say they could fend off six disciples combined? Su Yu was doomed to lose. Feeling the hateful glares of the six disciples, Su Yu gently creased his brows, humiliation. Have you never thought I was maybe only stating a fact? One person against the six of you, I alone am enough. Upon hearing this, the six were furious, you've gone too far. You're suicidal, don't blame us for being ruthless. Let's strike together, give him what he asked for. Thud, thud, thud. They each attacked from six different directions. Weapons, holy decrees, and top class and level techniques. The disciple ranked fourth even used his deity level technique. The powerful attacks shook the ground. The celestial fog trembled. The wasteland rumbled. The immense power of all six disciples struck the purple robe, divine king standing silently in the middle of the ashes. Whoosh. The air turned cold. Brisk winds howled. The summer had turned into a harsh winter. Shuffle. A heavy snow fell from the heavens, obscuring the thick celestial fog, making the scene dreamy and blurry. The disciples from the Fenguang Pavilion were all shocked. Snow. The snow was pure. Contrasted to snow from the mortal world, this snow was the purest. But, it was also the coldest. Crack. The snow in the sky broke into pieces, turning into an icy cold liquid and raining down onto the wasteland. The cold rain was floating, flying in all directions and landing onto robes and bodies in a dazzling display. Sizzle. Outside the forbidden grounds, Chen Ling lifted her head and looked at the horizon in shock, it's snowing. Fenguang Valley is at the southernmost tip of the continent and it's currently summer. While the forbidden grounds were a bit cool, it shouldn't be snowing. The master of the Fenguang Valley was visibly surprised. She glanced at Li Guang, if I remember correctly, you have a manual for a divine level technique, the icy heart core. If you achieve top class in the technique, you can develop an internal blood energy channel made of ice, and your heart will transform into an icy heart core. As long as you will it, everything shall be ice, that's the final teaching of this deity level technique isn't it? Li Guang looked at the snow in the sky, relieved, that is correct. Su Yu's heart had indeed become an icy heart core. 
Chen Liang, Wang Jing, and Wang An's expressions all changed. Junior and senior, if I am not mistaken, our sanctuary snowed recently for the first time too, Wang Jing recalled. The eyes of the three were doubtful as they all thought about the same person, Su Yu. Could it be that snow from the heavens now fell for him? Crack, crack. The foggy light glimmered as six crystalline figures suddenly fell out, exiled from the forbidden grounds. Zhu Rong, who was silently sitting, suddenly stood up. He observed the six figured closely, his eyes squinted. Li Guang glanced over, also shocked. Six people were escorted out together. What happened? Did you cheat and get expelled from the forbidden grounds? Zhu Rong was both shocked and angry. Out of the ten disciples from Fenguang Valley, excluding Chen Ling, six of them had been escorted out together. There were only three disciples left. What had happened in the forbidden grounds? The six people gradually came to as the ice encasing their bodies melted. Their entire bodies were cold, and they were shivering violently, they had thought they were going to die. If it had been a fight to the death, Suyu would have had enough time to kill them ten times over. They finally recalled Su Yu's words. Su Yu had not been trying to humiliate him. He was correct in saying they did not stand a chance against him. Just how strong was the silver-haired youth in the purple robe? Hearing Zhu Rong's surprise and anger, the ranked fourth disciple sighed bitterly, We were all defeated. Su Yu fought the six of us alone and, in the blink of an eye, we were all defeated. What? Zhu Rong shuddered slightly, taking a step back. His eyes shifted violently. A single person against six people from Fenguang Valley, Su Yu had defeated them all simultaneously. Chen Liang, Wang Jing, and Wang Yun gasped. Was Su Yu that powerful? Is he, is he a human or a ghost? Just what sort of changes had occurred to his body while he was buried under that rubble? How invincible was he? Such a genius had appeared in the sanctuary. Thinking back, Su Yu had used his life to fight against authority and to claim an opportunity for himself. Li Guang rejoiced the fact that he did not deny Su Yu that day. Otherwise, such a genius would have been buried in the shadows. Everyone left in the forbidden ground was silent. Snowflakes fell onto the shoulders of everyone present. It was almost as if nothing had happened. Su Yu alone had defeated six people. Su Yu is victorious. The battle for the top five is over. The Black Puppet announced mechanically, this is the final segment, the top five ranking battle. The rules for sparring are, each person has two chances, they will not be escorted out after their first defeat. The second rule is it is forbidden to kill. The final segment had come earlier than imagined, all thanks to Su Yu. The Black Puppet pointed randomly at the five remaining people, focusing on Zhao Guang. You. Come forward. Challenge the four remaining people. Zhao Guang's gaze trembled. His eyes burned with a desire to battle. He shot his gaze towards Su Yu. One person against six people. How arrogant. That should have been Zhao Guang's victory as the top disciple, not Su Yu's. The purple-robed divine king, the invincible legend, had finally shaken Zhao Guang. He could not deny he had been underestimating Su Yu. You, in my heart, are another formidable opponent. You have the right to challenge me for the top spot. I am looking forward to a battle with you. Zhao Guang looked at Su Yu, smiling. Su Yu smiled faintly, preparing to step forward. But now, the person I want to challenge is not you. It's him. Zhao Guang turned his gaze, pointing toward Lu Guang. The person he really wanted to challenge was Yao Guang, but he wanted to get rid of some competition first. Yao Guang creased his brows, you are not worthy to be my opponent. Worthy or not, that will be decided after our battle. But before challenging you, I have to get rid of the small fry. Zhao Guang said coolly, you, come forward. Zhao Guang pointed to the disciple who ranked third in Fenguang Valley, a powerful warrior of level 9 peak. Lu Guang coldly smeared, Jiang Xin, there is no need to go easy on him. Do not let a person not worthy of battling me be victorious. Jiang Xin's appearance and mannerisms were bubbly and adorable. She stuck out her tongue, blinking her large eyes, I know, Simu Lu Guang. Whoosh. 
Jiang Xin took a step forward, her sweet smile highlighting obvious dimples. He he, big brother, I am afraid of pain. Please take it easy on me. You have three more minutes to spout your nonsense. Zhao Guang deeply grunted, not wanting to entertain her. Jiang Xin creased her nose, HMPH. Blockhead spoil sport. I hate you. Shoot. As Jiang Xin finished her last syllable, her red lips spat out a black light. The movement was swift and sudden, making it hard for anyone to defend themselves against it. Measly tricks. Zhao Guang remained collected, unmoved by the attack. He tilted his head and the black light passed over his shoulders. The disciple was obviously a rare martial artist adept at using hidden weapons. I am so angry. Jiang Xin exhaled, stomping her petite foot. The simple action of stamping her foot shot out a transparent ray of light from the bottom of her shoe. Whoosh. The ray of light was close to the ground, transparent and formless, making it hard to distinguish. Zhao Guang was calm. He looked at Jiang Xin and raised his leg slightly and, at an opportune moment, stepped down. Pat. Under Zhao Guang's foot, a transparent glass dagger shattered. Stinky brother, you make me so angry. Jiang Xin charged forward. Her gaze, every finger, every strand of hair, they were all hidden weapons. But Zhao Guang was merciless, dodging everything with ease. He had not even shown half of his abilities yet. Rumble. A few minutes passed. Jiang Xin finally slipped up, allowing Zhao Guang to approach her and tap on her shoulder blade. Ah. Stinky brother, I hate you to the core. Jiang Xin was livid as she was defeated for the first time. Wearing a faint smile, Zhao Guang sighed, I grew up in the forest and learned survival skills from wild beasts. Hidden weapons alone cannot defeat me. Zhao Guang's original circumstances were mysterious. He had been abandoned in the forest and was raised by the beasts within. He had learned survival techniques from the beasts and his reaction speed was fast due to the cruel environment of the forest. The effect hidden weapons had on him was not as strong as a direct, powerful confrontation. You. Come forward. Zhao Guang's breathing was steady as he pointed at the disciple ranked second in Fenguang Valley. Yao Guang coldly smeared. Meng Lang. Jiang Xin failed. Don't disappoint me. Meng Lang lived up to his name. He was skinny and sickly, like an old wolf. His gaze was crafty and deep, and he wore a cold smear on his face. Do not worry, Sumi Lu Guang. Jiang Xin does not even have the guts to spar with me. Her defeat was not a surprise. Jiang Xin angrily stomped her food, but unexpectedly did not attempt to defend herself. In front of Meng Lang, she was a coward. He was too strong. Taking a step forward, Meng Lang looked straight at Zhao Guang. He licked his lips, the top genius of the sanctuary. I think you fail to live up to your name. Your abilities are ordinary. Zhao Guang was calm, try and you shall see. Whoosh. Meng Lang's gaze turned cold, like a wild wolf. He tapped the ground with the tip of his foot, turning into an afterimage and circling Zhao Guang. His image blurred around Zhao Guang, he was indistinguishable. Kiss of the hungry wolf. Meng Lang grunted. Rumble. Both of Meng Lang's fists punched down like the fangs of a wolf. The multiple afterimages all acted as one, striking Zhao Guang. It was hard to distinguish one fist from another. Upper class deity level technique. Zhao Guang muttered. Meng Lang let out a cold laugh. You can feel proud losing to the kiss of the hungry wolf. This technique was personally taught to me by the Holy King. Rumble. The multiple afterimages pinned Zhao Guang to the center of the arena as they attacked simultaneously. Every fist had the power to crumble mountains, they could severely wound an enemy in an instant. Ah! At that moment, Meng Lang let out a pathetic howl. He took a few steps back, astonished. Zhao Guang slowly retracted his fist, his expression calm, apologies, I have also cultivated a deity level technique. It is, also at the upper class. Meng Lang gasped. Someone had cultivated a deity level technique at the sanctuary. He had to admit, he had underestimated the sanctuary. Humph. Both are deity level techniques. Let's see who has the better one. Meng Lang grunted. Rumble. Two blurry figures were locked in combat. 
Quakes reverberated throughout the surrounding area. Ashes flew everywhere. The celestial fog was flowing. It was hard to determine a winner. Clash. An hour passed. Meng Lang's expression was grave, his face pale and obviously weakened. On the contrary, Zhao Guang's breathing was steady. His stamina was still strong after such an intense battle. It's over. Taking a deep breath, Zhao Guang slowly lifted his finger. At that moment, it was as if another person took his place. Shifting shadows. Creak. Zhao Guang vanished from his original position. When he reappeared, it was behind Meng Lang. It happened extremely fast, as though he had teleported. Meng Lang did not have any time to react as he was struck by a palm to his back. Ah. Thud. Meng Lang was defeated. Visibly surprised, Meng Lang was aghast, another deity level technique, this one focused on speed. A person had cultivated two deity level techniques, how shocking. Su Yu was surprised. The two deity level techniques Zhao Guang used were not any of the three in the sanctuary divine vault. It must have been taught to him privately by the holy king. In terms of power, it might be even better than the three techniques. Yao Guang. All that's left is you. Zhao Guang stood with his hands behind his back. He had consecutively defeated his opponents and his streak was imposing. His eyes burned with a desire to battle, and he focused his gaze on Yao Guang. Yao Guang took a step forward, his lips forming a mocking smear, you have decent abilities. Zhao Guang remained impassive, his expression calm, you are strong, but the title of king of the century belongs to me, Zhao Guang. You overestimate yourself. Yao Guang lightly shook his head. Strong or weak, we'll decide based on our abilities, not based on your ridiculous arrogance. Zhao Guang calmly said. Lu Guang laughed arrogantly, that is how you mortals test strength. In my eyes, anybody below the holy kings is an ant. Nobody can defeat me. Zhao Guang did not reply. He suddenly struck out, speaking with his actions rather than words. He would be king of the century. You are not worthy of battling me. Lu Guang calmly shook his head. Zhao Guang laughed angrily. Lu Guang, is everyone from Fenguang Valley this arrogant? This is not arrogance. You merely do not understand the level one I'm at. Lu Guang was calm. Then who do you think is worthy of battling you? Zhao Guang laughed angrily. He had never been belittled like that. Lu Guang scanned the four remaining people calmly, Jiang Xin and Ming Lang, both of you attack me alongside Zhao Guang. He had requested three people to attack him together. This was different from Su Yu's battle against six people. Those six had the weakest abilities from Fenguang Valley. In this three-on-one battle, it was the top sanctuary disciple alongside two of three Fenguang Valley disciples. The Divine Nine Dragon Cauldron Chapter 93. The Strongest Battle. Lu Guang laughed angrily. In the Shenyu continent, only he could belittle others. No one had or could belittle him. Su Yu was the first. The one to end the fight of the century is not you, but me, Lu Guang. Lu Guang stood proudly, each of you has only one chance to strike. Jiang Xin's expression turned grave. She shot nine bolts of black light out from within her sleeves. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Lu Guang held his position and smiled slightly, the tip of his toes lightly tapping the ashy ground. That light tap exploded with enormous power. Rumble. Boom. The 30 feet of wasteland around Lu Guang's body exploded. Dust flew in the air. Debris was thrown toward the sky. A vortex of dust and debris fused into a giant wave, shooting up into the air. Clink, clink, clink. The nine bolts of black light were all blocked by the giant wave. At the same moment, Lu Guang extended a finger and lightly tapped a small pebble. Whoosh. Ah. Jiang Xin had no time to react and was hit by the pebble. She groaned, painfully defeated. The foggy light shimmered. Jiang Xin had been defeated twice and was sent out of the forbidden grounds. The dust scattered and the debris fell from the sky. Among the ashes, Lu Guang stood with his hands behind his back, as if he was invincible. Meng Lang swallowed hard, kiss of the hungry wolf. Whoosh. His images became dreamy and hard to distinguish. Lu Guang, 
who was surrounded by blurred after images, laughed, standing with his hands behind his back. Suddenly, the multiple after images struck from all directions, like a large flood. It looked like Lu Guang was going to be swallowed by the fists. Pat. There was a light sound, and the after images disappeared in an instant. All that was left was the true Meng Lang, standing a few feet in front of Lu Guang. A bolt of vital energy had taken the form of a sword and lodged itself between Meng Lang's brows. Meng Lang had been defeated. The foggy light shimmered and sent him out of the forbidden grounds. While the sword struck Meng Lang, Lu Guang stood peacefully with his hands behind his back, never once moving to make a strike. Zhao Guang gasped, to give form to vital energy, you are approaching the level of a holy king. The Holy King Li Guang once lamented that the Shenyu continent's resources were limited, and he was unable to nurture a new generation of potential Holy Kings. But Lu Guang had defied the odds, he was approaching the level of the Holy King. Lu Guang laughed but remained silent, looking at Zhao Guang jokingly. He was making light of the situation, as Zhao Guang now stood alone. This battle was like a powerful, unsurmountable mountain which shook Zhao Guang's heart. But, Zhao Guang's determination was inextinguishable. He would not give up so easily. Three heads and six limbs. Zhao Guang's arms and legs began rapidly changing along to a unique rhythm. It was as if he had grown two extra heads and four extra limbs. His attack range now enveloped the whole arena. Meng Lang had previously been defeated by this technique. Witness my technique. Zhao Guang grunted like a wild beast, swift and powerful. Rumble. The two finally crossed swords. A loud rumble shook the sky, causing dust to fly everywhere. When the dust finally settled, a surprising scene was revealed. Lu Guang had a smear on his face, his finger lifted. Zhao Guang stood ten feet away, his three heads and six limbs frozen. Lu Guang's vital energy had transformed into an ice wall, blocking Zhao Guang's blow. A mere finger had kept Zhao Guang at bay. Clenching his jaw, Zhao Guang grunted, shifting shadows. Whoosh. Zhao Guang disappeared into thin air, teleporting behind Lu Guang. Even Lu Guang had no time to react. Rumble. Zhao Guang's six limbs struck out all at once. Crash. The joy on Zhao Guang's face froze. None of his fists had landed on hard muscle or flesh. In fact, he felt as if he had just struck air. Then, he heard a mocking call come from behind him. He's attacking my afterimage interesting. A finger tapped on his back. Thud. Zhao Guang, as if crushed by a mountain, spat out a huge mouthful of blood. He was sent flying into the air and fell in defeat. So, fast. Zhao Guang's pupils dilated. Lu Guang was even faster than his deity level technique, shifting shadows. You are not the only one who has cultivated two deity level techniques, Lu Guang stood, calmly smiling. The puppet referee announced, the victor is Lu Guang. Next, Lu Guang, you choose a challenger. The puppet referee ordered. Lu Guang stood in the center of the ashes, his gaze lightly falling onto Su Yu. I assume, after watching me battle, you now understand the massive difference between our levels of skill. But before we fight, let me take out the trash. Creak. Without turning his head, Lu Guang flicked his finger behind him. Ah. Zhao Guang could not defend himself in time, and a hole bore through his shoulder blades. Zhao Guang had been defeated twice. The foggy light surrounded him, sending the indignant Zhao Guang out of the forbidden grounds. There, Zhao Guang knelt on the ground on a single knee, pleading in shame, your disciple was useless. Please punish me, master. Li Guang was shocked, his eyes gradually losing their glow. Rise. Maybe this is fate. My wish for a century could not be fulfilled. Li Guang's words carried his sorrow. At that moment, he looked like he had aged a hundred years, like an elder who had lost his will to live. His spirit was dead. Zhu Rong had a look of pity, shaking her head as she sighed. Li Guang, why do you obsess so much? Does Zhao Guang mean that much to you? Li Guang closed his eyes. His old frame lightly trembled. He had harbored a hope and wish for a full century, only for it all to be dashed in an instant. Master, 
The holy disciples could all feel their holy king's sorrow, each mournfully kneeling on the ground. Li Guang forcefully put on a smile, I am fine. Zhao Guang was devastated. Only he knew that the Holy King had counted on this moment for his entire life. The Holy King had dedicated a hundred years to this fight, from his teenage years to his current age. But Zhao Guang had failed to fulfill his wish for him. Guilt and remorse overcame him. At that moment, a figure crossed his mind. Master, I may have been defeated, but there is still Junyu Su. Zhao Guang declared, he might carry a glimmer of hope. Su Yu, Li Guang lightly muttered his name. After some thought, he shook his head and laughed, he cannot. In the arena, only two were left standing atop the ashes. One was a silver-haired, purple-robed youth, who had risen from poverty. He was a star who had fallen into the continent's time and space, and his brilliance was shocking. The other was a legendary genius. He had defied the odds and was approaching the level of a holy king, arrogantly standing atop the world. The fight of the century belonged to them. Minuscule ant, the pity I bestowed upon you is gone. Now it is time to see the true difference between our abilities. Lu Guang stood with his hands behind his back, his robes gently swaying. His vital energy formed ten swords which spun around his body. Anyone who approached him would be torn to shreds. Whoosh. Lu Guang's afterimage flickered as he disappeared into thin air. The next moment he appeared within ten feet of Su Yu. Ten vital energy swords attacked Su Yu. Su Yu stood with his hands behind his back calmly. I see hardcore. Su Yu grunted lightly. Rumble, rumble. Near his chest, a heart made of ice began to beat. This was the top stage of the deity level technique, I see hardcore. His heart had been transformed into an icy heart core. As long as he willed it, everything would become ice. Creak. The vapor in the air turned into frost. At his whim, the frost became an ice wall. Crack. The vital energy swords shattered the ice wall, but the attack was blocked. By the time Lu Guang had collected himself, all that was left in front of him was an afterimage of Su Yu. Humph. You run fast. Lu Guang smeared, scanning the surroundings. His pupils dilated, he could not find Su Yu. At this moment, snow fell on his head with a light thud. Looking for me. Lu Guang lifted his head to see Su Yu floating in the air with his hands behind his back. His purple-robed figure was floating on thin air as if he were a celestial being. To float on thin air, only a holy king could achieve that. Floating light shadow, top stage, could allow a user to temporarily float. Lu Guang was shocked, but he continued to sneer, you merely used a simple floating technique. Let me show you what real flying looks like. Whoosh. Lu Guang's vital energy formed a pair of feathered wings on his back. Every flap allowed him to fly upward. The key to Holy King's flying ability was the manipulation of vital energy. Lu Guang, approaching the level of a holy king, could manage simple shape manipulations, including turning vital energy into wings. Looking straight at Su Yu, Lu Guang laughed, your techniques are pretty decent. Now, let me show you what a true top stage deity level technique looks like. Claw of the Divine Eagle. Lu Guang grunted. His fingers formed the shape of a claw. A faint glow encircled his fingers and he sliced downward, like a sharp eagle's claw. Rumble. The ash and debris on the ground were violently stirred. Five three-foot-deep craters appeared. A small ripple of a movement had such power. A top-stage deity-level technique's power was immense. Su Yu's expression was calm. He let loose a stream of vital energy from his palm and willed it to become a frost sword. He lightly flicked his wrist, slicing downward. Rumble. His frost sword shattered, the powerful ripple effects dissipating into the surroundings. Su Yu took ten steps back, a metallic taste rising in his throat. Lu Guang silently stood at his original position, adjusting his robes. He smiled. Both techniques are top stage deity level techniques, but yours was merely a supportive technique. How could you stand up against the attack technique I use? Su Yu could not rival Lu Guang, not because of insufficient power from Icy Heart Core, but because of the difference in cultivation base level. Su Yu was only at level 8 peak. 
Lu Guang was at level 9 peak. Both techniques were top class deity level techniques, but Su Yu was naturally at a disadvantage. The glorious title King of the Century belongs to me, Lu Guang. After this battle, I will become a dragon in the sky, and you will be an ant for eternity. Lu Guang said mockingly, Relax, I will take good care of your Xiana. Her heart and body belong to me, Lu Guang. Lu Guang continued to taunt him, I'm afraid Xiana does not know that she will soon become my woman. She still adorably calls me Senior Lu Guang. Someday, she will become my plaything. Only a person with her bloodline is worth of being mine. So, give up. I, Lu Guang, will keep your woman for you. Whoosh. As soon as Lu Guang finished his sentence, he disappeared once again. This time, he reappeared in front of Su Yu in an instant. Claw of the Divine Eagle. The earth-shattering blow clawed at Su Yu. Su Yu's expression was cold and murderous. It was like the calm before a storm. Chiana was his fiance. She was the lady he had sworn to protect forever. No one could violate her. Be they the heavens, the earth, or the gods, those who violated her would die. You shouldn't have humiliated her, Su Yu's tone was calm. The lack of emotion in his voice sent chills all the way to heaven and back. For the first time, he dropped his hands from behind his back. A purple lily surfaced in his right palm. Its blinding purple glow contrasted with Su Yu's icy appearance. The petals were exquisite, crisp with purple patterns. Aside from its beautiful appearance, the purple lily exerted toe-curling oppressive power. That energy caused Lu Guang's smile to freeze. The skin on his scalp was crawling. His heart skipped a beat. At this moment, he realized what he should not have said. I want you. Dead. Su Yu calmly said, taking a small step forward. This step seemed to cross over the heavens and earth as if he had stepped over time and space, over every obstacle the world had to offer. Heaven and earth could not save Lu Guang. The Divine Nine Dragon Cauldron. Chapter 94. Opening his eyes. The purple lily in his palm spun into the air. It was beautiful and luscious, a mystery to all life. The purple lily gently collided with Lu Guang's claw of destruction. Rumble. An earth-shattering sound spread both inside and outside the forbidden grounds. The sky of Fenguang Valley trembled. Disciples in the Fenguang Valley training grounds all felt the impact. The ground trembled and the roofs shifted. Only the power of two holy kings could split the celestial fog. But, the celestial fog was spinning rapidly. Whoosh. Li Guang and Zhu Rong's expressions changed. Zhao Guang, Chen Ling, and the rest of the disciples were all appalled. Zhu Rong was doubtful, this is, a spirit level cultivation technique. Spirit level. Neither the holy disciples from the sanctuary nor the disciples from Fenguang Valley understood. As far as they knew, the highest level of cultivation techniques in the continent were saint level techniques. Only under the tutelage of the holy king would they learn of deity level techniques, which were even more powerful than saint level techniques. But what were spirit level techniques? Could it be that deity level techniques were not the limits after all? Li Guang's expression was grave, and he was unable to hide the shock in his eyes, a spirit level technique. This is dangerous, the contest must be paused. We must go in, quickly. Zhu Rong was worried about Lu Guang. Both holy kings struck the fog together, splitting it down the middle. Whoosh. Whoosh. The two holy kings, the holy disciples, and the disciples from Fenguang Valley all entered the forbidden grounds. What they saw completely shocked them. Atop the ashes was a scene of destruction. A deep pit 30 feet across had formed in the middle of the arena. There was debris everywhere, with purple thunder embers burning the edge of the pit. Dust and smoke filled the air. A burning smell filled their noses. At the bottom of the pit, the handsome Lu Guang was covered with blood. His robes had been turned to ash by the thunder flares. The arrogance he used to wear on his face was replaced with blood. His nostrils, mouth, and eyes were all covered with blood, and his hair had been burnt off. His limbs contorted in pain and his pupils dilated with fear. He looked at Su Yu in absolute surprise. Su Yu stood silently atop the pit. His peaceful appearance had not changed. 
Only his silver hair and purple robe billowed in the wind. His blow had been godlike. What? What technique did you use? Lu Guang's heart was trembling. If he had not used the deity level technique claw of the divine eagle to block Su Yu at the last moment, he would have been completely obliterated. The purple lily was exquisite and radiant. But after it had come into contact with Lu Guang, purple thunder flares had spread to the skies, its power was limitless. Su Yu calmly shook his head, a dead person does not need to know. Whoosh. Su Yu's figure disappeared, instantly reappearing above Lu Guang's head. He pressed one foot onto Lu Guang's chest. Death was incoming. For the first time in his life, Lu Guang faced death. He could call himself the legendary genius, but in the face of death even he bowed down his noble head. Don't. Don't kill me. I. I am sorry. Lu Guang's humiliation showed in his eyes. He was filled with fear and regret. Had he known his humiliating actions and words towards Xi'ana would trigger such a blow from Su Yu, he would never have been so arrogant. He would at least waited until Xi'ana had become his woman before he said such words. Su Yu apathetically shook his head, you evaded my gaze, you don't mean that at all. You are not regretful, so die. Rumble. Su Yu let out a stream of vital energy. Utilizing icy heart core, he materialized an icy thorn and stabbed down toward Lu Guang's chest. Stop! Zhu Rong shouted, overwhelmed by what she saw as she entered the valley. Everyone else was equally overwhelmed. The legendary genius, the person approaching the level of the Holy King, Lu Guang, was, was stepped on by Su Yu. His life depended on Su Yu's whims. At this moment, the silver-haired figure in the purple robe in the snow seemed invincible. His silver hair obscured the side of his face, but it could not obscure his murderous fury. Splitting apart me and Shiona, only to send her away to get violated by this scum. You are a really great granny. Su Yu's cold tone caused the celestial fog to shudder, striking a chord in everyone's heart. No one knew of the humiliating words Lu Guang had said, but they could imagine he had deeply humiliated Xi'ana. Something had triggered Su Yu into displaying his monstrous anger. Su Yu, as master of this valley, I order you to release him, or you shall die. The master of Fenguang Valley's eyes harbored deep anger. In truth, she was indecisive on whether or not to kill Su Yu. Compared to Lu Guang, Su Yu was the better genius, could she easily kill such an outstanding man? He he, Su Yu stepped on Lu Guang's head, laughing loudly, this is already the second time you've wanted to kill me. Since I may die, why should I spare him? Die. Su Yu suddenly stabbed the icy thorn down. Lu Guang's turned red with fear. He was completely remorseful. He would have sacrificed his reputation to avoid upsetting Su Yu. Stop. Your engagement with Xi'ana, I, I do not care anymore. Release him immediately. Under such critical circumstances, the master of Fenguang Valley had disregarded her reputation in order to save Lu Guang's life. Unexpectedly, Su Yu did not stop. He coldly laughed instead, you had no authority to meddle with the engagement between me and Xi'ana in the first place. Su Yu, Xi'ana is yours. I, I was wrong. I will not compete with you anymore, please spare me. In the face of death, Lu Guang trembled violently. He practically squealed. Tears of fear rolled down from his eyes. His mental state had been completely destroyed. Su Yu's terrifying figure had been imprinted on his soul. Su Yu was cold and merciless. He pressed down harder, the icy thorn stabbing into the flesh of Lu Guang's chest. You are seeking death. Zhu Rong was furious. She was, after all, a holy king. She was a legend to all martial artists, undefeated for a century. Her abilities were beyond imagination. Su Yu's icy thorn had fully stabbed down when Zhu Rong teleported over and angrily pushed her palm towards Su Yu's head. Before Lu Guang dies, Su Yu must perish. Scram. I want to kill him. Don't try to stop me. Su Yu growled. Zhu Rong roared, vermin, die. At this critical moment, Su Yu was still bent on killing Lu Guang, and the Holy King was intent on killing Su Yu. Su Yu faced an insurmountable crisis. The force of the Holy King's palm stirred up a strong wind. 
Su Yu was sent flying. Zhu Rong pushed forward, taking advantage of Su Yu's prone position. The anger of a holy king could massacre all within a thousand miles. In the air, Su Yu's silver hair danced wildly. It covered his face but did not manage to mask his fury. It also did not cover his closed eyes. Old dog, it was you who forced my hand. Between Su Yu's brows appeared a thick crease. Zhu Rong had used her familial right over Xi'anna to interfere with her and Su Yu's engagement and had now vowed to kill Su Yu. She no longer even bothered trying to hide her murderous intentions. Su Yu would not show mercy to that despicable woman, even if she was Xi'anna's granny. Brazen vermin. Die. Hearing Su Yu's arrogant tone, Zhu Rong struck out furiously. The wind flowing from Zhu Rong's palm was as powerful as the purple lily, surpassing the power of deity level techniques. Its intense power destroyed everything in its path. But, Zhu Rong's heart still skipped a beat. Su Yu's closed eyes quivered slightly. As a small slit started to appear, a feeling of unease gripped her. The sky, earth, forests, trees, and every spirit trembled. It was as if his eyes sealed an otherworldly power. Once they opened, the world would be destroyed. Li Guang's heart also pounded wildly. Even he had been curious as to why Su Yu had never opened his eyes. Even when he had personally asked, he had always been given the same reply, it is inconvenient. He wondered if it had been Su Yu's trump card, but he had never imagined he would feel such unease upon seeing them open. The energy flowing from Su Yu was more than just destructive, it was complex and mysterious, beyond the grasp of even the holy kings. Just what was sealed within Su Yu's eyes. Finally, Su Yu's eyes opened for the first time. A set of elegant purple eyes was revealed, their gaze harboring an opulent yet mysterious glow. For the first time, they saw the world. Other than a few who practiced special techniques, purple eyes had never before been seen on a human. It was certain that these eyes did not belong to a human, but they were instead, the eyes of a spirit. Magnificent, noble, and mysterious. A mere glance would send chills down one's spine. Seal. Of. Time. Su Yu growled deeply, focusing on the words intently. A purple glow radiated from his mysterious purple eyes. The sky and land, time and space, suddenly all froze. Clouds stopped in their tracks and waves stopped at their crest. Everyone around Su Yu froze along with them. Even the powerful holy king Zhu Rong, despite being so close to him and so furious, froze. What the mortal eye could not distinguish was the figure of a purple dragon coiling around Zhu Rong's body. It was this dragon who had bound Zhu Rong's body, freezing her in time and space. Her thought processes still worked. Her soul was shaken and fear spread within her veins. But her body was sealed in time, she was immobile. Su Yu was in front of her, his purple eyes cold and unfeeling. His silver hair flowed like an immortal spirit. Old dog, I shall kill you first. Su Yu grunted. Creak. Purple star thunderbolt. Su Yu let out a low grunt. Gripping his purple lily, he thrust it towards Zhu Rong's body. Zhu Rong, being trapped in time, took the full brunt of the blow. Boom. Her chest was burned by the ferocious thunder flares. She opened her mouth and spat out fresh blood, flying backward. Martial arts legend Zhu Rong had been wounded by a vermin. Twice Su Yu had used the purple lily, and once he had used Seal of Time. Su Yu paled, unable to steady himself as he dropped down. But, his eyes remained furious. Die. Su Yu clenched his jaw, lifting his finger, ice and thunder feast. Ice fused with thunder in a beautiful natural spectacle. Purple and white lights intertwined and formed a destructive glow. Top class icy hardcore and stage one upper class purple star thunderbolt, the two were much more powerful than they had been previously. The fusion of the ice and thunder feast had reached even higher levels. In terms of power, it was only inferior to the purple lily, but still far above deity level techniques. Making the most out of seal of time, Su Yu wanted to completely obliterate the old dog, Zhu Rong. The Divine Nine Dragon Cauldron. Chapter 95, Shenlong Continent. You must not. A voice suddenly called out from the distance. Whoosh. 
a swift, exquisite flash appeared before the master of Fengguang Valley. The effects of ice and thunder feast were scattered. Li Guang's figure appeared. The seal of time only worked on designated people, thus, only the master of Fengguang Valley had been sealed. Li Guang was not affected. The sudden disruption freed the master of Fengguang Valley from her bonds. At that moment, the figure of the purple dragon, invisible to the mortal eye, disappeared. The master of Fengguang Valley freed herself from the seal of time. Even though her body had been sealed in time, she had remained conscious. The intense pain in her chest made her furious. I'll kill you. The master of Fengguang Valley shrieked. Her injuries were minor, but she needed to salvage her reputation. Chi, a holy king, had been wounded by a simpleton. Only Li Guang's intervention had stopped her from taking a second blow. She would never forget that humiliation. Humph. Li Guang glared at her. You think I'm simple decoration? Make another move and I'll finish you myself. Bullying my holy disciples time and again, you deserved what you got. You. Zhu Rong was angry and ashamed. She had to be cautious. Su Yu stared at Zhu Rong, feeling a shred of pity. The seal of time had a time limit. Every activation had to be accompanied by a period of rest. Otherwise, his eyes would tear. He had already missed the best possible time to kill the master of Fengguang Valley. Holy King, why did you stop me? Su Yu asked, confused. He didn't understand the intentions behind Li Guang's actions. Li Guang was obviously not biased towards the master of Fengguang Valley, otherwise, he would not have protected Su Yu. Li Guang looked over, his ancient eyes filled with relief and gratitude. Come with me, I shall show you another world. Li Guang did not answer, instead, he grabbed Su Yu's shoulder and flew thousands of feet up into the sky. Su Yu did not understand him. Another world? Look down at the wasteland, Li Guang said. Su Yu listened to him and looked down. His pupils contracted into needle points as he processed the image before him, this is, a palm print. According to the legend, the Forbidden Wasteland had once been a prosperous and bustling area. It had been reduced to a wasteland overnight. On the ground, it was difficult to see the biggest clue as to the what had caused the collapse. But from above, Su Yu now saw a shocking scene which he would remember for the rest of his life. The wasteland was cradled in a massive, palm-shaped crater. You're right, it is a palm print. A palm destroyed everything within 30 feet, Li Guang was equally awed. A palm had destroyed everything within 30 feet, reducing it all to ash. Su Yu was lost within his own mind as he slipped into a shock he had never felt before in his life. He recalled the day at the Twilight Mountains, with the two murals underground. The first was an elder's heavenly finger. Su Yu had benefited from it, learning the holy decree. The second was a heavenly great palm which came crashing down from the heavens itself, shattering all mountains and devastating any lakes within 10,000 miles. Su Yu could never forget that scene. The 30-foot palm print which had destroyed everything clearly had to do with the second painting. Is this the power of a holy king? Su Yu was lost. Li Guang let out a self-deprecating laugh, holy king. He he, just what is a holy king? Compared to the might of this palm, holy kings are but ants, a finger could exterminate us. The other world, have you seen it? Li Guang suddenly asked. Su Yu took a moment to collect himself as he considered Li Guang's words, Holy King, what you're saying is the level of the Holy King, the legend of the martial paths, is not the pinnacle. Legends of the martial paths. Li Guang's self-mocking tone deepened, perhaps that's what you mortals call us. But, in the other world, holy kings are the lowest of life forms. Where is this other world? Su Yu was shocked. The legendary holy kings of the martial paths were the lowest life forms in the other world. Li Guang replied with a question of his own, how big do you think the Shenyu continent is? Su Yu thought for a moment. The Xianyu prefecture was as big as China, and the Fenglin Empire was as large as the entire Earth. The alliance of the nine empires was as giant as nine planets. Adding in the landmass of the Fengguang Empire, which was larger than all the alliances combined, the entire Shenyu continent would be about the size of 20 Earths. 
The sheer size of the area shook his soul. Very large. You could travel for a lifetime and still not see everything, Su Yu answered earnestly, or bubbling in his heart. Li Guang was amused. What if I told you that the Shenyu continent was but a tiny island? What? An island? Su Yu gasped. Li Guang slowly nodded his head. Correct. The Shenyu continent is but an island in a vast ocean. The real mainland is the Zhenlong continent. The Zhenlong continent is the center of the world. It is truly an environment for martial artists. The Shenyu continent is but a tiny island among many others. Su Yu could not think of anything to say. The vast Shenyu continent was but a speck in the ocean. Zhu Rong and I, in the mainland, are disciples of the Lixian faction. A hundred years ago, we were dispatched to Shenyu Island to seek talents among its inhabitants for the faction. Li Guang continued, Zhu Rong set up Fenguang Valley and built the Fenguang Empire, whereas I built the sanctuary and controlled the alliance of the Nine Empires. We split Shenyu Island in half, each selecting talents from its inhabitants. Today's fight of the century was designed to finally select the five eligible disciples for the mainland, Li Guang concluded. Su Yu was shocked. To think the sanctuary in Fenguang Valley had been built for Zhenlong Continent's Lixian faction to mine for talent. Li Guang looked at Zhu Rong and calmly sighed, So, now you know why I stopped you. Firstly, you cannot kill her. Your most powerful strike would only give her minor wounds, it was due to your secret soul techniques that you even managed to wound her at all. Second, even if you managed to kill her, could you stand against the powerful warriors from the Zhenlong continent who would come to avenge her? Among them, some can even obliterate me with just a thought. A thought capable of obliterating a holy king. Su Yu was in awe. Zhu Rong and Li Guang were not only powerful, but their status was also not ordinary. All right, now you should tell me. How did your abilities progress so quickly since the battle in the evil forest? Li Guang could not mask his curiosity. Su Yu nodded. Now that it had come to this, he did owe him an explanation. Creak. The icy heart core started beating in his chest, absorbing the cold energy from their surroundings. That day, trapped under the rubble, I achieved the top stage of icy heart core. According to the manual, after the top stage is achieved, an ice heart would form. That heart could increase my cultivation level by absorbing good energy from the surroundings. Li Guang was enlightened. When he was buried, Su Yu was at level 7 upper tier, but today he was at level 8 peak, all due to the benefits of the icy heart core. The Fenglin Empire was in the midst of winter, where chilly energy was at its peak. The evil forest was shady, and chilly energy was even more prominent there. Su Yu had continuously absorbed cold energy for 10 days. Coupled with the fact that he had swallowed many St. Great Elixirs, the medicinal properties of both the Elixirs and cold energy were stimulated and he had achieved rapid improvement. Then how did you achieve top class of Icy Heart Core? Before the crisis, you had only achieved upper class and you still needed multiple years before you could break through to top class. Deity level techniques get harder to gain insight into the more you progress. It should be due to my level of perception, Su Yu said, leaving out details which explained the changes in his body. His biggest change was not the cultivation level, nor the techniques he had learned, but instead, the biggest changes had occurred because of the Nine Dragon Cauldron. Under the dire circumstances, the Nine Dragon Cauldron had changed. Multiple drops of spirit serum had fallen from within, cleansing his body and purifying his soul, boosting his levels of perception. Simultaneously, his space-time manipulation had a massive breakthrough. In the past, he could speed up time 50 times when he was still. After the change, he could speed it up 200 times. He had been trapped for half a month. With his space-time manipulation technique, it had been equivalent to 10 years. It was enough time for him to completely comprehend Icy Heart Core. Furthermore, the Purple Dragon Head of the Nine Dragon Cauldron, after being cleansed by the Red Spirit Serum, had become totally crystalline. Su Yu's eyes underwent a strange evolution, eventually turning purple. In the past, he could only control the time around his body. The purple eyes allowed him to control the passage of time in the outside world. 
The seal of time was thus born. It could freeze time for any specific target. In a battle of life and death, it would greatly benefit Su Yu. But Su Yu could not completely control his eyes. To prevent the technique from being leaked out or accidentally hurting the innocent, he kept his eyes closed. Level of perception. Li Guang gasped. Your extraordinary levels of perception are unbelievable. Su Yu secretly grimaced. The truly unbelievable person was Chia Jingyu. How did your spirit level technique come about? Li Guang's gaze turned grave. This was a vital question. He had regarded Su Yu's divine purple eyes as a secret soul technique that had made Zhu Rong lose concentration, but he did not pry too much. What is a spirit level technique? Su Yu was lost. The purple star thunderbolt, Li Guang said, basic, medium, advanced, sunt, and deity level techniques are classified under mortal level cultivation techniques, attainable by mortals. Spirit level cultivation techniques can only be attained by people above the level of Holy King. Zhu Rong's technique which she used against you was a spirit level technique. The purple star thunderbolt was a spirit level technique. Su Yu was shocked. But, as he thought back, a few things began to make sense. Deity level techniques like the icy heart core and the reverie of dewdrops only had a lower tier, an upper tier, and a peak. Purple Star Thunderbolt had more tears. Also, in terms of difficulty, Purple Star Thunderbolt had confused Suyu more than once. He had achieved top class in two deity level techniques, Icy Heart Core and Infernal Demon Pupils. Yet, Purple Star Thunderbolt was still at stage 1 upper tier. The time he had spent gaining insight into the technique was already at 6 months. Coupled with the effects of the space-time manipulation, he had essentially spent 10 years learning the technique but remained stagnant at stage 1 upper tier. That difference in difficulty between techniques finally made sense. To think Purple Star Thunderbolt was a spirit-level technique that only the Shenlong continent possessed, attainable only by holy kings, no wonder Su Yu was struggling. In the past, he had thought it was a sun level technique. Then, he found its power to be overwhelming and thought it was a deity-level technique. Unexpectedly, it was actually a spirit-level technique. If that is the case, then there should still be other pieces of the manual somewhere. It is from the remnant of a manual at the Xianyu Prefecture's Martial Arts Training Institute, Su Yu answered. Xianyu Prefecture. Li Guang thought hard. The twilight mountains of the Xianyu Prefecture used to be prosperous, but they were destroyed overnight. If I am correct, that piece of the manual for the spirit level technique was accidentally discovered some time after. So the purple star thunderbolt had been found at the ruins with the murals. All right. Within a day, an escort from the Zhenlong continent will come and bring us back to the Zhenlong continent. My job here with Zhu Rong is done. Li Guang descended from the sky with Su Yu. Su Yu is victorious. The black puppet declared. Opening its mouth, the black puppet thrust a token toward Li Guang, in accordance to the fight of the century, the winning side will get this Li Xian token. Lu Guang grabbed it with his hand, his old frame trembling as tears welled up in his eyes. Zhu Rong stared at the Li Xian token, visibly jealous. Suppressing the greed in her heart, Zhu Rong's expression was forced. She cupped her hands, congratulations brother Li. You have waited bitterly for a hundred years and your patience has finally paid off. You can use the Li Xian token to request a favor from the faction. Li Guang closed his eyes, clutching the Li Xian token tightly as tears flowed down his eyes. His voice shuddered, Ruo Lan, wait for me. I will definitely get the faction to investigate that incident so long ago, I will get answers. I, Li Guang, was wronged. Zhao Guang was overwhelmed with emotion. He knelt on the ground and bowed to Su Yu in gratitude. Tears also welled up in his eyes, Junior Su. I will never forget your benevolence. Only Zhao Guang understood the pain his teacher had suffered. To salvage his reputation, he had spent a hundred years attempting to obtain the Li Xian token. It was Su Yu who had helped Li Guang fulfill his wish. Li Guang's eyes were also full of gratitude. He scanned the holy disciples he had brought with him, smiling in relief as he gathered all of them to his side. Only Zhao Guang knows what had happened to me in the past. 
Today, I shall tell all of you exactly what happened. It turned out that Li Guang was once one of the newer disciples in the Liaxian faction. As a new student, he had above average potential. Ruo Lan was his junior, beautiful and innocent. She was in love with Li Guang. The two of them got along well. They cultivated techniques together and advanced through the faction. But, one night, Junior Ruo Lan was assaulted in Li Guang's living quarters. The event was said to have been witnessed by Li Guang's romantic rival, Senior Han Ji, a gifted student of admirable potential. Li Guang and Junior Ruo Lan had been drinking together in the flower fields that terrible night, both had overindulged to the point of blacking out. When they awoke, Li Guang was immediately convicted. Junior Ruo Lan was furious and ashamed, she withdrew from everyone. Li Guang, branded a rapist, should have been executed. Only Li Guang himself knew that he had not touched Ruo Lan that night. The true rapist was not Li Guang, but the supposed witness, Han Ji. End of the chapter. The Divine Nine Dragon will be read in five chapters for every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday and Sunday. Please leave this sound novel and press subscribe, follow, and the bell so you don't miss any new clips as well. See you.